Question 1. Mention what is the responsibility of a data analyst? Answer. Provide support to all data analysis and coordinate with customers and staffs. Resolve business associated issues for clients and performing audit on data. Analyze results and interpret data using statistical techniques and provide ongoing reports. Prioritize business needs and work closely with management and information needs. Identify new process or areas for improvement opportunities. Analyze, identify and interpret trends or patterns in complex data sets. Acquire data from primary or secondary data sources and maintain databases slash data systems, filter and clean data, and review computer reports. Determine performance indicators to locate and correct code problems. Securing database by developing access system by determining user level of access. Question 2. What is required to become a data analyst? Answer. To become a data analyst. Robust knowledge on reporting packages, business objects, programming language, XML, JavaScript or ETL frameworks, databases, SQL, SQLite, etc. Strong skills with the ability to analyze, organize, collect and disseminate big data with accuracy, technical knowledge in database design, data models, data mining and segmentation techniques, strong knowledge on statistical packages for analyzing large data sets, SAS, Excel, SPSS, etc. Question 3. Mention what are the various steps in an analytics project? Answer. Various steps in an analytics project include Problem definition Data exploration Data preparation Modeling Validation of data Implementation and tracking Question 4 List out some of the best practices for data cleaning Answer Some of the best practices for data cleaning includes Sort data by different attributes For large data sets cleanse it stepwise and improve the data with each step until you achieve a good data quality for large data sets, break them into small data. Working with less data will increase your iteration speed. To handle common cleansing tasks, create a set of utility functions slash tools slash scripts. It might include remapping values based on a CSV file or SQL database or regex search and replace. Blanking out all values that don't match a regex. If you have an issue with data cleanliness, arrange them by estimated frequency and attack the most common problems. Analyze the summary statistics for each column. Standard deviation, mean, number of missing values. Keep track of every date cleaning operation so you can alter changes or remove operations if required. Question 5. List of some best tools that can be useful for data analysis. Answer. Tableau, RapidMiner, OpenRefine, 9, Google Search Operators, Solver, Node Excel, IO, Wolfram Alphas, Google Fusion Tables. Question 6. Mention what is the difference between data mining and data profiling? Answer. The difference between data mining and data profiling is that, data profiling, it targets on the instance analysis of individual attributes. It gives information on various attributes like value range, discrete value and their frequency, occurrence of null values, data type, length, etc. Data mining. It focuses on cluster analysis, detection of unusual records, dependencies, sequence discovery, relation holding between several attributes, etc. Question 7. List out some common problems faced by data analyst. Answer. Some of the common problems faced by data analyst are common misspelling, duplicate entries, missing values, illegal values, varying value representations, identifying overlapping data. Question 8. Mention what are the missing patterns that are generally observed? Answer. The missing patterns that are generally observed are missing completely at random, missing at random, missing that depends on the missing value itself, missing that depends on unobserved input variable. Question 9. Explain what is KNN imputation method. Answer. In KNN imputation, the missing attribute values are imputed by using the attributes value that are most similar to the attribute whose values are missing by using a distance function. The similarity of two attributes is determined. Question 10. Explain what should be done with suspected or missing data? Answer. Prepare a validation report that gives information of all suspected data. It should give information like validation criteria that it failed and the date and time of occurrence. Experienced personnel should examine the suspicious data to determine their acceptability. Invalid data should be assigned and replaced with a validation code. 
to work on missing data use the best analysis strategy like deletion method, single imputation methods, model based methods, etc. Question 11. Mention how to deal the multi-source problems. Answer. To deal the multi-source problems. Restructuring of schemas to accomplish a schema integration. Identify similar records and merge them into single record containing all relevant attributes without redundancy. Question 12. Explain what is an outlier. Answer. The outlier is a commonly used terms by analysts referred for a value that appears far away and diverges from an overall pattern in a sample. There are two types of outliers, univariate, multivariate. Question 13. Explain what is k-mean algorithm. Answer. K-mean is a famous partitioning method. Objects are classified as belonging to one of k groups, k chosen a priori. In k-mean algorithm, the clusters are spherical, the data points in a cluster are centered around that cluster, the variance slash spread of the clusters is similar, each data point belongs to the closest cluster. Question 14. Mention what are the key skills required for data analyst? Answer. A data scientist must have the following skills, database knowledge, database management, data blending, querying, data manipulation, predictive analytics, basic descriptive statistics, predictive modeling advanced analytics big data knowledge big data analytics unstructured data analysis machine learning presentation skill data visualization inside presentation report design question 15 explain what is collaborative filtering answer Collaborative filtering is a simple algorithm to create a recommendation system based on user behavioral data. The most important components of collaborative filtering are users' items interest. A good example of collaborative filtering is when you see a statement like recommended for you on online shopping sites that pops out based on your browsing history. 